What's up, duelists? I'm back with another daily upload video. Banger. Brand new deck list. Deck list that has a lot of things from other deck lists smashed together into one deck list because that's really what Edison is. It's whatever we want to play all at once. This is definitely a GCM deck list, aka a good card maxing deck list. I'm good card maxing today. Look how many spell cards I got that are busted. If I swap over to the ban list, then they're all limited. That's probably how it goes. Look at this. Boom. Yeah, look at that. Nine limited spells and a bunch of ways to find them with all of our card draw in this deck and a ton of like limited monsters as well. We've got Sangin, which finds us the whole deck. We've got Tuningware, which draws cards. Cyber Valley, which draws cards. Machine Dupe. There's some combos with Tuningware. Foolish gets us to Plague, so we can Tuningware and Dupe in the same turn. Etelli also gets us tuning wear and dupe live, and then of course Quick Draw gets us tuning wear and dupe live. So there's a lot of ways to get that boy popping as soon as turn one. We go ahead and we synchro off with all of them. We either make Stardust or Road Warrior. Then we either get ourselves a Cyber Valley or we just draw three new cards. Either way, we draw three new cards, and then we hopefully draw into just a bunch of broken bombs. So that's the concept behind this deck. I've taken a few ideas for, from a couple people. I was like trying to make a an X Saber list work actually with machine duplication and Cyber Valley in it and tuning wear. And it just like wasn't coming together, but the tuning wear and the machine dupe part of it was like a really good engine. I was like, Oh, I could probably just throw this in like a good card, like chaos quick draw deck. And that's what we've got here today. The cyborg is really interesting. Lots of these brain control monsters, a couple of my bodies, a shield, a couple noble man, a couple decree for back row. Probably don't need two noble men. Probably could get away with like one. Honestly, Actually, let's just go one my body as a shield. And let's get another snowman eater in here. I feel like he's going to be pretty important. So, like, the way I was approaching the sideboard was, like, don't lose to oppression and then don't die. And those were, like, my two things. Like, so for the don't lose to oppression, we've got Breaker. Uh, we got Noblemans. We've got Decrease. Well, Nobleman doesn't kill oppression, unfortunately. But it kills other back row, which is functionally oppression. And then we've also got, for the don't die, we've got Battle Fader, Snowman Eater, and then Solemn Trap Dust Shoot for combo decks that may be giving us issues, and Gale for, like, aggro decks. This is also pretty good side-in against Black Wings, because if we steal a Black Wing monster, let's say we, like, mind control their Black Wing monster, switch off their Icarus, Special Gale, then we can normal tuning wear and duplication and go from there. So uh, that's the general idea with side-in Gale. It's just bringing it in versus decks that normal summon Black Wing monsters. Okay, enough explanation. I've had enough. I've, I'm done. I'm done explaining it. I'm done talking about it. I'm hosting for our 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 opponent here. We're hosting. 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 I'm just message him that I'm hosting. Oh man, one of the mods is posting that he's hanging out with some elephants right now, which is fire. Um, what does what does this DB? Is, Su is Supreme King our opponent? I don't know if that's our opponent. It might be. I don't really know. Okay, it is. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. We've got our opponent. Round one of the eight man. Good luck. Have fun. I'm going to hit him with the paper. He's on the same paper. I'm going to hit him with double paper. All right, we're going second. <laughs> Cryge. Cryge. Lots of tears. Lots of tears. Settling in for a, for a grindy match. If we were going first, we would just crush. This opening hand is not great. Also, if our opponent has a lot of back row, it's not great. But we do have Gores, so Gores is really good. This is going to be a tough one. Going second, I think this is going to be really hard. Um, especially with this hand. Hopefully we draw a dupe. Plague. Not ideal. I may summon Cyber Valley and pass. That is an option here. Actually, yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like summon Cyber Valley and pass. He can, like, force out this, but if he forces out this, then we can drop course. Why is Tommy messaging me? That's a top-tier hero beat player from SoCal. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out how good he is. I've hung out with Sai before, actually, a couple times. He's a really cool guy. Uh, strong player. Strong player for sure. Sangin's pretty good here. His set monster could be a an Honest or a Snowman Eater. This is all tough, you know? I think I want to get Trigodia in play. I'm not sure what Sangin wants to find, though. I think Sangin wants to find Dandelion. Because we've got two quick draws, and we just need to do something with them. So I think we want to go attack with Sangin into the set monster. 
as weird as that sounds. Question mark. Are you wanna are you gonna torrential me? So we attack the set monster. D prison. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> it's chill. Honestly, it's fine. We're chilling. He's gonna he's gonna attack. We're gonna drop trag, right? We go 1800. Yeah, we just drop trag. It's 3000 trag. Main phase two is gonna flip his snowman eater. Totally chill. Totally fine. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Next turn we can. I don't know. Try something. Oh, we drew the dandy anyway. I'm the best. I'm so good at this game. All right. Let's go quick draw. Activate from hand. Pitching dandelion. Special summon quick draw. Get ourselves some some dandy tokens. Okay, now what do we want to do? I think the answer is clear. We want to make Drill Warrior. I think that that's like pretty obviously what we want to do. <laughs> it's either that or we make Turbo Warrior. What is the difference between this guy and Drill Warrior? Nothing. In this matchup, it's nothing. We'd rather just have Drill. So I'm going to go Drill. Give him a question mark on the summon. Bottomless. Okay, so there goes our first drill. Kind of sad, but kind of whatever. We can activate quick draw and we can make a second drill. So if we pitch plague, we could also normal tuning wear and then make a road warrior. So I'm gonna go quick draw, pitch plague, special quick draw. I'm gonna go ahead and normal tuning wear. Give him a question mark. He might have a, I think the new set might be a spark. Um, no, it's not. How lovely. So let's go ahead and make Road Warrior. Tuning Wear can count as two stars. Can be treated as a level two monster. Um, yeah, and then activate Tuning Wear. Tuning Wear activates. We'll draw a new card. Yay. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll activate Road Warrior. We're going to special summon out the Cyber Valley from our deck in defense position. Pretty happy about this. Pretty happy about all this. I think... Uh, big think. I think we go Chaos Sorcerer, Banish, something. Yeah, I think we go Chaos Sorcerer, Banish. So we go Banish, Banish, Special Chaos Sorcerer, Activate. And I would like to banish the Snowman Eater. And then I'll... Probably activate the Cyber Valley now, targeting the Sorcerer, because I just want to draw two new cards. I don't want to get owned by like um, Diva into the guy. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and fire this Upstart, because if we draw a Heavy Storm, it's really good. We did not. This is still fine. I think we'll just shove attack the Stratos. Hopefully clear it. He's got another D prison. All right, that's fine. We've got Gorge, we've got Debris Dragon. I'm like pretty confident in our setup here. I'm pretty sure his last back row is Starlight Road or Solemn Judgment, so either way, we're chilling. Here comes Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer in the main. That's really, really annoying. I'm just gonna summon Gorge now because I don't want to take the a million damage. He's gonna banish Dandy. That fucking sucks. That's like really unfortunate. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really fucking cringe, unfortunately. Uh, that's some pre. But it's cool. We drew tuning wear, so. We can still, still act. I think his last back row might be a dead card, so. He didn't stop this last turn, so I'm just gonna go for it again this turn. Quick draw. Pitch debris. Special quick draw. Normal tuning wear. And we are gonna make Drill Warrior this time. 
again. Again, I don't think there's really any reason to not tuning where. Draw me a new card. Brain control. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't think there's really any reason to brain control, though. Um, I think we just run over his guys. Battle phase, scores, attacks, Kaiku. That's the one I want to remove for sure. Okay, so his last back row is probably Starlight Road. Um, it's just a matter of if I want to banish this drill, and I think I do. Yeah, I think I do. Brain control is really good, but... No, oh, brain control is really good. I think I'll... I think brain control is better than any of the monsters in our grave, so I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to pass there. This has been a cool game. We've been kind of getting owned by, like, random shit. Like, if he didn't have Kaiku there, like, we would be crushing right now. But because he had the main deck Kaiku, it's, like, kind of awkward, obviously. Here comes Rota for Warrior Lady. That can trade with either of these. Probably going to hit the drill. Okay, then he has Honest. That's the only thing that makes sense. No, he doesn't. Okay. Well, just run it over then. Sure. Uh, all right. I don't know why he didn't do that on his turn. That didn't make a whole lot of sense, but now we're just dead. So there's that. Yeah, there was really no reason for him to not do it on his turn. That didn't make sense. Um, just a mistake on his part, I think. But we lose. That's unfortunate. I think we had a lot of shots that game, but he just had like the main deck like sideboard card, which got us pretty good. It's fair. It happens. And now we know what we're playing against, and we have the sauce. I think Royal Decree destroys this deck. So does my body as a shield. So does like Snowman Eater. Like we have a lot of really good cards for this matchup. Um Nobleman can also be really good. It just depends on how much we want to side out. I think Puppet Plant's obviously good. Battle Fader's a maybe. Nobleman's a maybe. So these... Seven. Seven cards in. Let's go quick draw. One quick draw out. Let's go... I like all my defensive guys. I love Cyber Dragon Caius. I love my Breaker. I think we can probably side out Giant True Nade. Because I'm bringing in like other shit. I think I can side out all three Upstart Goblin. So that's five cards out. I just need to side out two more. It could be Teleport Krebins. That's not the worst. I just want to keep my tuner count kind of high because I'm citing in a steel effect. So I need lots of ways to convert his guys. And right now I have Plague, Tuner, and Teleport. So maybe that's not the best. Granmal could be bad, but he's good versus Absolute Zero, which is kind of going to give this deck some trouble. Um, maybe we don't need the Breaker. And then maybe I can just side out like a lure or something random. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good. I think citing out all the draw spells is probably bad, but whatever. This is fine. Oh yeah, this sounds great. We have Snowman into Caius, and yeah, we're just kind of crushing. If he outs the Snowman somehow, then... Damn. <laughs> Rhoda. Okay, this can get Stratos. That's fine. Can I grab Ocean? That's also fine. I need to prioritize banishing his waters. So we get our plus one. But he already got his plus one, which is annoying. Set one pass. Cyber Dragon is good. Do we want to press our advantage? Not really. He could have Torrential. I don't really like that idea, that concept. What would we do? We would pitch quick draw, special quick draw, normal tuning wear, synchro into drill, draw a card, and then we'd pitch the card we draw to banish it. I don't think there's really a need to do that right now. I think we can just wait. 
I kind of want to keep my Trigodia strong if possible, and then save the tuning wear quick draw stuff for later once he's out of removal. Here comes normal ocean, that's fine, just passes the turn. We have mind control, which doesn't do anything. If I sack for Caius and he has Solemn, then I fucking cry, but I have Cyber Dragon still, so could be a lot worse. Caius is gonna target the ocean. We're gonna chain compulsory on the ocean. That's fine. Again, not a big deal. I think because, no, we don't have a way to normal the tuning wear now. I think we just attack for 24. Yeah. Well, we don't have any other real plays except like special quick draw and attack for 702, which is pretty terrible. Let's be real. Uh, we have an OTK set up next turn if he doesn't have more back row, but there's just no way he doesn't have more back row. I don't believe it. Dark armed. That's a good card. We don't have enough darks to facilitate it quite yet, but I can play, I can... I can overcommit, I think. If I pitch, I'm gonna pitch. Yeah, I think I can overcommit here. Cause Trag Mind Control should be game. So I'm gonna go quick draw, pitch, quick draw, special. And then I'll normal tuning wear from a question mark. And then I'll synchro into Junk Archer, uh, Tuning Wear, we'll draw us a card, one for one. That's really good. That's really, really good. Okay. So if we mind control one for one pitching Trigodia, we can get Cyber Valley. That's kind of cool. And we can draw two new cards. I'm down for that. Let's just... Let's just Junk Archer his guy. I think this is, like, safest. Um, believe it. I believe it banished his face up. But... Yeah, I believe it. I don't think it banished it face down. Yeah. Yeah, it banishes it face up, yeah. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think it matters that much. I knew it was a snowman eater either way. It's like... That's the reason why I didn't want to mind control it, too. So, D-Prison on the Caius. That's fine. He's going to take 23. He has to out Junk Archer. I guess he flips snowman. He outs it. We drop Trag, and then we're in a pretty good spot. Trag over the Snowman is like a kill setup. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm chilling with this. I'm chilling with this. He gets the Snowman back. Um, I believe it's face up. I, I need to double check that. Junk Archer. I guess we go edisonformat.com. Yeah, he has to flip pop this. Here comes Kaiku. So he's going to flip pop. That's chill take 1800 maybe that's an argument to side out the um dark arm dragon rules individual card rolling this is the stupid fucking kaiku i swear i've looked this up before or is face down it is banished face down wow i didn't know that i didn't know that oh no it's my bad actually actually i looked it up apparently it's banished face down I don't know shit, Lameo. Uh, yeah, I should have looked that up. I swear it was banished. Or something. I guess that makes sense. Kind of-ish. Anyway, uh, this is pretty straightforward, I think. Oh. Yeah, I think this is pretty straightforward. We can mind control Kaiku and we can make Bionic. And that wins, I think. I think. Is that what we want to do? What are the chances he has another D-Prison? Pretty high because he only set one last turn. I think. Uh, let's just attack the Snowman Eater. I don't really care that much. Let's just put him to 200. He admitted defeat. I did that wasn't game. 
he was he actually survived at 200 i feel bad though because i definitely did fucking uh not know that ruling not that it really matters because we knew it was a snowman eater anyway but um that's good to know that's good to know so in the future if this comes up i will be sure to clarify with my opponents I think knowing that Kaiku shuts off Chaos Sorcerer and Dark Arm Dragon, it makes me a little bit more hesitant to leave them in, even though they are such good cards in this matchup. I think Dark Arm Dragon in particular is not where I want to be. I think Breaker, True Nade going second, even Nobleman of Extermination are all really good cards here. Gale is also nice. I think just like having the... Yeah. <laughs> Let's cut Dark Arm Dragon is basically what I'm saying. Let's side him out for uh, one of these two cards. I think it's going to be both. I want to figure out another way to fit in the card. What am I cutting? I like all of my cards in my deck. I think they're all good. Like, I legitimately think they're all good. Is it just Chaos Sorcerer? Is that so crazy? I think Chaos Wars are just too strong, right? I suppose if he has Kaiku in play, I can't even summon it, so. Yeah, let's get it twisted, I guess. Let's try this. I don't know how good this is going to be, but it's been a good match so far. This hand is really strong. <laughs> yeah, this hand is really, really good. Um, depending on how he starts. Yeah, that's a little bit difficult. Quick draw. Oh, cool. Not what I was expecting, um, but that is a good good start for him. Your Cyber Dragon. We drew we drew a pretty good pretty good draw for um, winning. <laughs> I guess I think I think what we do is we just set debris and we set Royal Decree. As crazy as that sounds, I think that that's like the play, and then we'll pass. He left in Typhoon. Okay, maybe I should have considered that. I'm not really sure. Nobleman of Crossout. Okay, not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all. But this is okay. I mean, like, we got one of the back row for our decree, so it's like not the worst. We got Brain. Okay, Brain is really good. I think we can Brain Control to play around Gemini Spark, can't we? Hmm. If we brain Caius, it's got to be brain Caius or brain Valley. God, I want a special this Cyber Dragon, but this can win us the game. Like this can win us the game. So let's let's try and get the alias banished. Let's try and get it banished. Let's brain take the alias. Solemn judgment. Wow. Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all. So this being the case, we've got a lot of options here. We've got special Sidra. Special Sidra. Sack for Caius, target alias. Drops him to 16 and he has to answer the Caius. And the next turn we have Cyber Valley duplication. I kind of like that. I think it's very aggressive, but I think that aggressive is where we need to be. I do want to out the alias and not the prohibition because I am scared of honest after the first game of him having Honest. So we'll pass. Caius is genuinely like a hard card for that deck to deal with, so. Interesting, Tuning Wear. Quite useless, quite useless here. I think first things first, we will summon Cyber Valley. There's very little that punishes us here. It's only Torrential Tribute. Then I will activate Machine Duplication, targeting Cyber Valley. Okay, that's going to resolve. That's very good. That's just like very, very good. Whenever it's done lagging, I can summon my, my fucking cards here. Um, God, I love this deck. This deck is really cool. Okay, so activate this Cyber Valley, target this Cyber Valley, banish two. Draw two cards. Oh wow, we drew Royal Decree. So there's not really a great reason to attack here. 
but I'm gonna do it. If it's Snowman Eater, then we trade. Oh, it's a Psychaiku, that's very good. That means his back row is nothing. Uh, we'll pass. I'm gonna leave both in play. Set monster. Okay, pass the turn. Now we have options. As weird as this sounds, I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna summon tuning wear and cyber value it away. Target the tuning wear. Finish. Finish. Draw two. Oh, plague. Now it's a shame that I don't actually play that one guy, but it's okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Run over the Dyna, main phase two. Not really much to do here. We already summoned, so we just pass. He's at 16, he's under the abyss. I think we're pretty set to take this one over. GG's, GG's. Yeah, a couple of miracles, uh, and the alias being banished was very crucial for us. Prohibition naming quick draw. Can't draw a spark to save my life, brutal. Yeah, he did need spark at some point there, but the Solemn negating the brain control, if I was him, I might've let the brain control resolve and then Solemn the Caius, cause he didn't have an out to it. That's just um, my opinion on it. Anyway, we've got our next round opponent coming up next. Who are we facing off against next? It's as soon as my phone is connected to the to the thing um okay so i'm playing against the winner of i don't even know where the fuck is the thing here it is snickers and pavinci let's look at their usernames they're probably still playing our match was pretty quick uh, maybe not. Maybe they're not playing. Oh, DB is something different. Okay. They're not playing anymore. Okay, who won? Who won? Okay. They said they're in game two, but I don't... I don't see him, so how can you be in game two if I, if I don't see you? Oh, that's so weird. I was searching that, and it was, like, not coming up. DB is just broken. Okay, looks like Pavinci's down a game. He's playing Amaryllis Burn. Looks like Squared is playing Zombies. So, yeah, probably a good matchup for Zombies. You're, I mean, the only thing that really gives you trouble is, like, multiple tokens, Titanial. This Trigodia is kind of scary, though. Hmm. Yeah. That's a pretty good trag. That being said, Zombies has some tools. Seven tools, if you will. I'm really enjoying the deck that I just played. I think it's kind of based. I might be trying to build this deck. Yo, low key, I might be trying to build it. I know, so there's a couple of players. There's a couple of players who have been kind of like proselytizing the Cyber Valley Machine Dupe engine. And that's D2 and Jazzy, aka Justin. So uh, those players have pitched to me similar Cyber Valley Machine Dupe engines before, and they've been like, yo, this is gas, play it. And I'm like, all right, maybe. But for me, the biggest issue was not having another machine target. Like, having three dupes and only three cyber valleys is very... It feels inconsistent. Not inconsistent, but just... No, that's exactly the word I want to use. Inconsistent. So I was like, okay, uh, is there a way I can force tuning wear into, like, a good stuff deck? As opposed to playing it in the previous deck that... Um, I was playing it in which had like dark sea floats and like titanium and just like random stuff that is bad to draw basically because like when you draw a bunch of cards off tuning wear and you draw a bunch of cards off cyber valley you really want those cards to be like actually good 
Um, and you don't want to be drawing, like, turbo drawing into your bricks. And I noticed when I was, like, trying to make the X Saber deck work, because I had this idea that was, like, Ragigura, like, two Ragiguras and Quick Draw is really good, because they just, like, loop. <laughs> like, you pitch the first Ragigura, you special Quick Draw, you summon the second one, you add back the first one, you sink into Drill Warrior, and then it's like you did it for for two cards basically which is bad but it's the same as dandy if that makes sense um here comes heavy storm i don't know if the amaryllis deck can like very easily out colossal fighter oh that's a very nice call of the haunted chainable little search action how many of you guys watched the halloween video yesterday that video was based it was like not very watched but it was the king of the skull servants video it was hype it was really really cool search plague yeah you gotta grab plague you gotta grab plague oh man yeah i don't know how you out like you have to have mark but even mark doesn't really out this because they just get it back i think this is going to be a tough spot i think we're going to be facing off against zombies which will be a hard matchup undoubtedly our best plan against zombies is quick draw dandy that's our best plan. Fast Caius is helpful, but not. It's not usually enough, if that makes sense. Hmm. All right. One fire into Titanium. Lightning Vortex. Testing out. I was checking my phone. Missed the lightning. As quick as lightning. Yeah, no, that outs. That outs Colossal Fighter. Never mind, we got a game. Okay. Now what? Set Reaper. <laughs> set, set, pass. Don't attack. Okay. Caius here will at least trade with the Titanial. Bionic will trade at a deficit. Raikou's gonna pop Pyramid Turtle. Pretty good hit there. Pyramid Turtle's annoying. Dark Arm Dragon is live. Here comes Card Trooper Mill 3. You can get into an Amaryllis, which looks like which looks like Pavinci did. Okay, tax to another pyramid. That's just gonna get Reaper. Hmm. Yeah, assuming Reaper's in, that's what they're gonna get. They might have sided out. I, I side out Reaper like all the time. Cause it's like the worst card in your deck. Like if you're playing zombies, yeah, usually Reaper is the first card I side out. It's just bad. Oh, they have another turtle. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe deck thinning a bit. Maybe want to delay the decision of what to grab. If you're Pavinci here, you don't have to attack this. You can just continue to proceed to your second main phase. Or your phase, yeah. Basically, yeah. Don't need to attack it. Just bring out your Amaryllis past a turn. Your opponent's five Amaryllis hits away from death. And you have two plants. So somewhat close. You just need to get like an attack in. Like I feel like an attack and then two Amaryllis hits is like your game plan now. How do you get in that attack? Well, that just depends on the cards in your hand. Maybe you have a Phoenix Wing down. Maybe you have Mark of the Rose to get in that attack. But yeah, at this point it's, it's pretty much just a matter of getting the attack in and then, yeah. And Square is viewing the extra deck. The Diva play is already gone. He does have Plague, but Plague doesn't do anything here. Like with Plague, you can attack Amaryllis with Revive King, but then you lose the Revive King and probably the game to the crackback. So. Yeah, I think you're just fucked. <laughs> like I don't I don't know what to say. I think you just lose. Um Titanial is a bitch. 
it's just a fucking hard ass card to get get through. That lightning vortex was really, really, really clutch. Yeah, if Pavinci didn't have that lightning vortex, it would have been tough to get through the colossal. But because of that lightning vortex, a huge favor for Pavinci right now. So you can go plague, you can go revive king, you can run over the Phoenixian cluster. Then you can main phase two, maybe stack for dark end, and then dark end pop. Titanium, Titanium negates, trades with the Dark End. Maybe if you have Mirror Force at that point, you can stabilize. Uh, the Amaryllis will be permanently negated, so it can't come back. It doesn't even burn you the 800. But still don't like your position. Because you're leaving your opponent with two monsters in play, and those two monsters could be sacrificed for another Amaryllis. Then all of a sudden, you're taking 3,000, and the Amaryllis is coming back end phase, and you're at 1,000, you're looking at an Amaryllis, and it's just like, how do you proceed, you know? So I feel like this situation is taking him a very long time. Never mind, he has fucking dark arm. Okay, so that doesn't do anything because Titanial can negate it. Here comes Normal Plague. Shingro Shaman. I'm gonna go Revive King almost certainly. I just don't know what else you would go into here. Vivinci says nice. I don't fully understand. I mean, if you can clear, like, let's say you go Bryonic, and you just go Bryonic, whatever. Bounce something, they go Titanial Negate, and then you have a way to clear the Titanial after that. Then you can just win with Dark Armed. That's true. That's that's just true. But as of right now, like, you have no way to clear Titanial and the Negate with one card. So you need to... Make Revive King. And then maybe you can make Dark End main phase two and... Yeah, I think that that's what's happening, yeah. Only Revive King. Revive King is also a good way to deal with Car Trooper, but... Just depends on if you want to have Dark Arm left over or Revive King left over. Probably Revive King, actually. I don't know. It's more or less the same. Yeah, there's a obvious most obvious Mirror Force ever. It wasn't Wind Blast, and this deck doesn't play other cards, so... This is new. It Yeah, I mean... Yeah, obviously. It's going to be Mirror Force. He says, and I misplayed. Most likely, if you knew it was Mirror Force, then you can just stack for Stardust, Stardust, run over the Amaryllis, and then... Or you could just go um, stack for Stardust, make Stardust, uh, Dark Armed Pop, they go Chain Titanial, and then you go Chain Stardust, negate the Titanial. There's like a bunch of different stuff if you knew it was Mirror Force. Um, you would only attack there, I guess, if you didn't think it was Mirror Force. Or whatever. But yeah, he could have made Stardust to protect the Dark Arm from Titanial. That's another way he could have... Does that guarantee the win? I think it does. Yeah. yeah actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because it puts a fourth Dark in the grave. He needed four Darks. Um, But you just make Revive King first, and then yeah. Yeah, it puts the fourth Dark, so yeah. No, actually, I, I'm bad. You just make Stardust Dark Armed, and then you win, yeah. So, he says misplayed so bad. Yeah, he's recognizing it. I think he's recognizing it. Um, so was I. It took me a second to realize it too, to be fair. Uh, I don't play that zombie deck that much though. Yeah, they're both figuring it out. Yeah. If you went to Stardust, you're covered. Yeah. Yeah, once you realize it's not Wind Blast, which I'm sure you would have realized because he didn't use it on your Pyramid Turtle. I think you're just free to do whatever the fuck you want in the main phase. The only other thing it could have been was Torrential, and that would have been bad, don't get me wrong, but at least you're not staring down the Titanial anymore. Dang, they always open it when they play against me. It must be those new rarity collection, collector's rares. What are the ones you're the most excited for out of the Collector's Edition or the 25th Anniversary, whatever the fuck it's called? Collector's thing. Uh, what's it called? I'm I'm excited for Lava Golem. Actually, I don't know. I'm just excited for... I think all of the Edison cards are cool. The Rota is cool. The Lone Fire is cool. The Compulsory is cool. The Ancient Fairy Dragon is really cool. I'm super excited for that one. Uh, that's going to be one of the first ones I... I try to trade for or whatever. Mm. The compulsory is really cool too. Uh, like 
previously our highest rarity compulsory was like a super rare from like a later turbo pack and it just i'm gonna be real like that's fucking pathetic you know what i mean like if your highest rarity is a super rare like that's just so mid that's like come on man you can't even give me like some gold text or something you can't even give me a secret rare like come on bro like let's be real but now we got that shiny sparkly new ocg looking ultra rare this is dangerous attacking with goblin zombie potentially milling amaryllis it's just dangerous but he's getting rewarded out the ass oh never mind there's a gores okay so gores pretty good here <laughs> can't lie that being said Pavinci's at 4100 versus an otk deck <laughs> so that's also bad and if he doesn't have a way to like banish the mizuki goblin zombie he's looking at like losing next turn straight up like oh and here's caius on top of that jeez i didn't even notice he had a normal summon yet no that's really 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 backwards yeah yeah Pavinci's like super far behind here this is gonna be a tough one for him yeah, I don't see how he gets out of it. He has to put a Titanial into play. So he either has to rip Lone Fire or like he has to have like DDR, Mark DDR or something like that. Um, Hidden Armory does the job. Hidden Armory is so good in that deck. Search is Plague, obviously. That's the best card to search here. You just search your other limited bomb. Draws another card. Wowzers. Solar Recharge. Oh, he's on some different shit. I don't think that this is necessarily bad. Oh, there goes Mark. You needed that. And trade-in. Milling two really good cards. His mills this game have been really bad. Yeah. I don't think Solar Recharge is that bad, though. I think it's a decent tech. Like having one or something like that. Just an extra power spell. I thought about playing Solar Recharge in X Sabers and like Monster Reincarnation to get back Fall Troll. It was like a really weird like fever dream of a deck list idea, but my my brain said it could be interesting. Just cause like everything in X Sabers is about finding Fall Troll. And if you don't find Fall Troll, then your deck just doesn't do anything. And Solar Recharge, like, digs you four cards as opposed to two, technically. But, uh, I don't know. You have to find a way to get back the Fall Troll. And you could use Regigura or Monster Reincarnation to do that. So there's, like, a lot of, like... I feel like there's a lot of exploration left there. Like, in, like, a Light Sworn Draw Engine. But there's that DDR that I was talking about. And Pitching Necro Garden is pretty big. So this is going to be at least, like, a re reversal situation. Gotta clear the Mizuki, and then you can attack for 17. You risk Gores coming down, which is tough. But I think you just need to do it. Hope to hit an Amaryllis here. And did not. Necrogarden of Down is really good, though. This card is so fucking broken. People don't realize how good Necrogarden is. There's a reason it's limited. A very good reason. So unfun to play against. What's more annoying, like, your opponent having two Necrogarnas is like your opponent having a Duplock. That's what it's like. It's just like you're just never getting through. And it's harder to deal with than Duplock because there's only like five real cards that interact with the graveyard in the entire format that aren't themed. Insta Fusion. So he is playing that list. I'm not sure about this. It's an interesting card, but. I just think the life total loss and like what it contributes to the deck is a little bit. This is Black Rose. Does he have game? So if he goes Black Rose, blow up the field, Mizuki back, Goblin Zombie, stack for Plague. He's a couple hundred life points off. Let's see if he could have done this a little differently. Say he goes instant fusion into this the four star. He makes Goyo Guardian. He Mizuki's back Goblin Zombie. Synchros into Stacks for Plague. Synchros into Bionic. Bounces. Titanium negates. 
Attack for 11, you steal the Lila. That's not very good, is it? This is game with the Book of Life or any extension, but this is not game on its own. Here comes Mizuki, bring out the Reaper. It's not the worst, but he has Necrogarna. Yeah, he always has the Necrogarna anyway. So even, even though this is like decent, he has a Necrogarna anyway, so he can just Necrogarna negate this attack. I guess this can attack directly every turn though. I just ha I think having this in attack position is kind of a liability. Gores is gone though, and so is Trag, so it's not that big of a deal. He's gonna negate with Necrogarna. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's a great use of the Mizuki. I think you could have waited and used it to bring back Goblin Zombie. Because having this in attack is not that different from like having Plague Engraves a liability. That means that Normal Summon stack for Plague make Doom Kaiser can steal their Plague. I guess it's not that much of a liability. Make Zombie Master a little better though. I don't know what the normal is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think Squared has like the best chances here because he has more cards. That should be game. Cause uh, I guess you need a normal summon. No, you search and you search Zombie Master, yeah. You just stack for plague, you make Brownick, you search Zombie Master. This is game's over. He's just playing as a okay, yeah. Yeah. There really is no reason to not just concede right now. Don't blow this up. Bounce it with Bionic. If it's Dandy... Uh, he could still mill Dandy with the Goblin Zombie. I guess you have to attack with Dark Arm first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, we're going to play against Zombies. Alright. I play you next. Cool. He's showing me the Kaiku. Let's go. He does have some Grave Hate. That'll be difficult. For us. I'm sure of it. Why does it do this? It's like a bug. Where like if you're on the watch screen and you try to host, it like bugs. And then if you try to go to the dual screen, it also bugs. If you try to do anything, it bugs because it's a dueling book. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Bruh. I just want to play the game. I just want to play the game. I want to play it in paper. I don't want to play it. I don't want to do it with this shit anymore. I don't want it. 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 All right, we're hosting. There's that boy. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah, this matchup might be tough. We don't have any defense, and he's playing an OTK deck, so I think we need to go first. Going second is going to be brutal. Hopefully we win rock, paper, scissors. Even like sitting cyber valleys, that sort of stuff. God fucking damn it. Who picks paper, dude? Who picks paper? Who picks paper? God. Oh, this sounds good. This sounds good. I like it. I can't complain. Give me a duplication off the top and no back row. Okay, not two back row. Just one, please. Please just. Teleport, hold, hold up. We got ourselves a goddamn hand right now. 
we got ourselves a hand. I think we mind control. Gimme. What is it? Don't have torrential, please. Gimme your guy. Chain trap dust shoot. Sure. All right. He's gonna take Cyber Valley. That's fine. We still have Vitelli, so we still have a conversion as long as it's not a tuner. Um, and it's pyramid turtle perfect, 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 perfect. So yeah, we'll flip some in this. We'll Vitelli go get Krebins. Uh, where is that boy? I'm gonna synchro into Koyo, my normal Sangin, and then beat that ass. Let's go, 3,800. 3,800, boy. As long as he doesn't have Brain Caius, we're chilling. That's the worst case scenario. Second worst case scenario, Book of Life Plague into Revive King attack over Sangin, stack for Plague, make Dark End pop Goyo. Well, you can't have it all, can you? You can't have it all, all right? Fuck. <laughs> Typhoon. That is a dead card. Good to know. He says misclick. I I'd hope so. <laughs> I'd hope that that was a misclick. He's probably thinking about setting cards, yeah. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, this is totally chill. <gasps> Tuning where Pog. Hmm. I mean, there's no real reason to attack the turtle quite yet. I could sack Sangin for quick draw, but then what am I searching for? I need a way to clear this back row. So I think we're just chilling. I think we just wait. I think we just wait. Our board is like just sitting there. It's vibing, it's chilling, it's vibing, it's vibing and chilling. I think we just wait. We don't have the necessary stuff to do the necessary things. That was an annoying book of life. Because I wanted that dark for my dark armed. I might end up pitching this guy to quick draw. Just because we have no darks. Well, we have one, but... This one doesn't get us where we need to go. Passes the turn. Gorzy Porzy. Hmm. Double sack for Gorge. Not bad. Search dandy. I'm still like worried about torrential, so I'm just gonna pass. I think we just keep keep it passing. I think Drago will eventually favor us, especially now that we have the gores. I'm curious what he has set. Cause what do you set two of? Maybe it's like solemn plus. Something else to not die. Something chainable, maybe? It's like Typhoon plus Solemn. Or Typhoon plus Real Card. Yeah, one of them's Typhoon. So he has one real back row, one fake one. Turtle. Attack Goyo. Um, sure. Yeah, it's... Gonna get him to Goblin Zombie Caius. But that has to out Goyo, and then we still have Sangin around. He's not going to attack over the Sangin. Interesting. He doesn't want to give us the tutor. Kaya should target the... Okay, so he has Mirror Force for sure. Goblin Zombie's going to activate. Sure, we're going to take a thousand actually as well. Well, it's good to know about his back row. Like one of them outs Goyo. Resolved. Uh, can't. 1400 defense. 
a common mistake yeah has to have 1200 or less you can't search pyramid turtle with goblin zombie you can only search everything else <laughs> the, everything that the deck plays so no problem it is a weird number 1200 or less it's just weird it's like arbitrary stupid thing most people don't realize i think he's gonna search plague okay i think he has diva because he searched turtle sidra interesting so if we go quick draw pitch sidra normal tuning wear make guy we just playing a mirror force pretty badly fuck i wanted to search dandy well he's gonna be able to normal plague and do shit if i don't force it this turn so if i attack and try to take kaius so if i go quick draw pitch Dark arms, but normal tuning or Yeah, this is fucking miserable. It's mirror force for sure, so we attack. If it's not mirror force, then we just take it. Oh, it's compulsory. It's not what I was expecting at all. I think I will make I think I will make drill then. And then just represent gores and then try to survive with drill so I'll go quick draw effect pitch dark armed because we have no darks in grave special summon normal summon tuning where oh okay that's fine once again I'll just do that again activate this time pitching cyber dragon normal summon tuning wear Synchro into Drill. Um, draw another card. So he has Typhoon 3, Typhoon Plague 2 Unknown. Oh my god, I ripped Dandy. I'm the fucking goat. Banish, give me my fucking tokens. Not those ones. Give me my fucking tokens. Dueling book. Let's go! Drill Dandy! Opponents at 26! I have cores! I'm winning! I am winning! He had double fucking compulsory. But he didn't wait for the synchro. Why would you not wait? I guess he was predicting Caius. Okay, yeah. If you're predicting Caius, yeah. Okay, it makes sense. Um, plague? Typhoon. His hand has Plague Typhoon. Minus gores. I mean, we're just always getting back dandy and just drilling our way to victory. Double fucking compulsory. That is the last thing I want to play against. He could have more book of life. I think this list plays triple book. That would be really cringe. But we can just add back. Like, it doesn't even fucking matter. If he hits me directly, I get to drop Gores. Unless he hits me directly with Reaper before he clears the tokens. Reaper on the Nightmare, because they can attack directly. Here comes Plague. It's fine. Let's attack both. It's also fine. Goodbye token. Goodbye other token. All right. What are we making, though? He's got Typhoon, three unknown. I just don't know what you make here. Thought Ruler, Archfiend. Colossal, Dark End. There's nothing to make that stops Drill Dandy. Everything gets owned by Drill Dandy. Drill Dandy is, is love. Drill Dandy is life. Oh, no fun is my... uh. Is my boy, that's why I'm DMing him. Do I think I'll win? <laughs> now I do. 
I don't know, actually. I think this is going to be a tricky one for sure. We'll get back dandelion. Effect to have. Do you have a third compose? Do you have Mirror Force, Kappa? I know he has Typhoon down there. So this is going through. There's no way this isn't going through. If it's two, effect to banish. Pass the turn. Wait, I want one of each. There we go. Do I think I win? Yes. This game at least. I think it will be hard to lose this one. Like I would have to punt this one, I think. Cause drill dandy plus gores gets me out of this. Does he not play deep prison? He has two compulsory. I know he has some number of instant fusion. It's that new build that's been going around. I don't, if he does play D-Prison, I'd be surprised, but usually people are playing Compulsory or D-Prison, not both, uh, unless they're like playing a really trap heavy deck and <coughs> and you have to make room for like fucking triple book of life and shit somehow. So D-Prison is probably the first card that gets cut. That's what I'm assuming. Okay. Stack for Plague. You gotta start doing something somehow here. Uh, defense position? No, attack position. Yep, that makes sense. You can't let me just keep getting tokens sanging. Okay. Sure. Attack. Okay. Attack. Okay. Attack for 25. What are we scared of? It's either do that or lose. And here's a Gorzy. Where's my token? There it is. Cool. So now we get back Drill, we add back Dandy, and we win. All right, this matchup probably is very bad. <laughs> it's probably very bad. I do like Marionette Might. I think he has some applications. I do like Battle Fader. I think these two cards have the most of the applications. That's what happened. Drill comes back. And he takes lethal drill direct and cores over synchro. Um, yeah, so I think these two for sure. Compulsory is mad fucking annoying. I think nobleman and decree and breaker all have applications, as does Solomon Dushu. What do I think those sets were? I know one was Typhoon. Uh, other was Probs of Bluff. Maybe the Instant Fusion. Uh, or Bottomless. Could have even been Solemn. There was, there was a lot of things it could have been that he couldn't have used. Or that he wouldn't have used there. So, I think... I think this matchup is kind of tough. It's kind of a tricky one. Let's go. Let's go. Breaker. Let's go. Double Noble Man. I I need to be on the don't die plan or the don't die train. And I think Solemn and Dust Shoot are pretty good for the don't die train. I think I'm less on the clear back row and more on the don't die. I gotta figure out how I'm siding though. I want to side out my own plague, which means I would side out my own foolish. But that just is silly because it ruins my two new more draws hmm. that being said I gotta do it yeah foolish plague comes out I think cyber dragon is a little bit less useful in this matchup it's good with grandma it's good with Caius 
uh, but it's a little bit less useful. I think we definitely want quick draw. We have to be careful. Fucking burial stops quick draw. Uh, stops drill warrior specifically. Sork, Dark Arm, Gorge Trag, all amazing. Dandy amazing. Quick draw, Dandy amazing. That's how we win. Tuning wear is good. Caius is good. Maybe it's like we don't need the breaker because we're bringing the noblemans. Maybe it's only two, three cards. Okay, so we have three cards out. Let's go upstarts out and let's bring in dust shoot and solemn. Actually, dust shoot and breaker or dust shoot and solemn. What if we leave in the cyber dragon? Let's just, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Swap the cards, swap the cards. There we go, there we go. Let's just try this. Let's just try this. I don't know if this is good. I don't know if this is bad. We might have too few darks for allure. I might have wanted to swap the allure for the breaker. I might have wanted... Nah, I don't think I want Snowman Eater. This hand is... Not very good. I need a tuner. Plague or plague or Foolish would have been this battle fader, right? Gross. Plague would have been really good here. That being said, I've got Demol. I've got Demol. All right. Fuck it. Get rid of that shit. Don't chain dust you, please. Bottomless. Hmm. Mole. Mole. Activate. Mole. Let's go. I got the mole. Dude, I got the mole. I got the mole. The mole is so good. I love the mole. That is that card is the new Keegan, my son. That's my boy. <laughs> Grandma, I love this card. <laughs> this is my I'm I'm fucking Grandma pilled. Yeah, this is not what I want to happen, but it's going to happen, I guess. Fuck me, dude. I wanted that guy. <laughs> How annoying. <laughs> Okay, okay. Unfortunately, I have to pitch something. I think it has to be mole. Sadly, um, no. If I pitch dandy, I make drill. If I, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to pitch mole. I want to pitch mole, and I want something to anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Quick draw. Actually, pitch fader. Pitch mall. Pitch fader, pitch mall. I uh, think. We can't pitch dandy. Okay, we can't pitch dandy because then we don't have three spots for tuning where. <laughs> Fucking deck or monster zone space issues. I think it's grandma. I think it's grandma. I think we pitch grandma, special quick draw, normal tuning where, activate duplication, safe. You know what I'm saying? Safe. I think we keep dandy. I think we keep battle fader. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's fucking go. Let's draw something good. Give me 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 something good. Road warrior, baby. Road warrior. Uh, tuning wares. Draw three. Oh. Oh. The nuts. The nuts. Oh, my God. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. This is not legal. I want him to know. I want him to know this is not legal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just give me just give me some more cards, dude. Just give me some more cards, bro. I don't even care that both those cards do. <laughs> I don't even care. You wanna know why? Because I get to draw two more. I gotta draw two more, baby. Oh, I don't even care that all my cards suck now. This is amazing. Battle phase, attack for 3,000. He says this game is so rigged. In my favor. <laughs> all right, M phase, discard dandy. Right? Or... No, that's it. Our hand sucks. 
That's crazy. I drew seven cards. I drew no good cards. Yeah, it's got to be M phase discard dandy. Okay. I was supposed to use might, wasn't I? Did I not use might? I was supposed to use might and not mind control. I'm bad. That's okay. Give my little my little guys, my little dandy guys. Let's go. <laughs> Road warrior, baby. Road warrior. Let's go. I'm going to draw the third machine dupe next turn. I'm going to draw the worst card in my deck next turn. I'm actually kind of in a bad spot. <laughs> actually, I'm actually kind of losing. <laughs> my hand doesn't do anything. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Allure of Darkness. Oh, I'm so happy for that. That is a good card here. I think we allure first. Draw two. Oh, Pog Champ. Which of these is bad? Probably the worst one is Battle Fader. Because we have so many guys in board. I think we go Caius first. Oh, I should have fucking trunated. I'm getting greedy here. Never punished, I guess. Literally ever. Holy shit, this deck is fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I should have done that first. I don't know if it doesn't... Chain return? Oh my god. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I feel so bad because I'm just going to marionette my activate. Give me. It doesn't really matter which one he gives me, but I'll take the goblin zombie. <laughs> GG's. Holy shit. <gasps> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, this deck might be... <laughs> Did I accidentally discover the new best deck? One new friend request from Nilfine. No oh, it's friend request time. Except. Except. Do I remember any of these people? Oh, old format guru. I remember him. Except. Okay, I don't remember any of the other people there, though. All right. It says, why didn't I train it first? Because I had game anyway. LMFAO. <laughs> I knew it wasn't torrential. <laughs> Psychic damage. I knew he would I knew he would ask me that question. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. <laughs> he says how? Uh, <laughs> Psychic powers. <laughs> Krebins told me. <laughs> Alright. I can finally go first. Dude, that was the most insane. I don't think I've ever drawn that many cards in one turn without like a super rejuvenation. Like that was that was something else. This hand is good. This hand is like really good. I think it's just set Sangin and pass. Counterclaim is in the finals. And we got zombies again. Very nice. Very nice. I'm gonna go get quick draw, because we've got breaker. So I'm gonna I'm gonna safely go get quick draw. I think I'm building this deck. I think as soon as this video is over, I'm gonna go order all of these cards. Cause this is like, this deck makes me fucking torqued. <laughs> this deck is amazing. This is the most fun I've had playing Yu-Gi-Oh in a very long time. Effect to add counter. <laughs> okay, activate breaker, remove, blow up the back row, chain. You have Dandy yourself. Dandy mirror. Danny Mirror. Oh, I'm drawing Breaker next? Let's go. <laughs> Wait, that actually makes me pretty happy. <laughs> Quick draw, pitch dandy, special. Get my tokeny tokens. Oh, this deck is so fun when you don't play against oppression nerds. This makes me so happy. Okay, um. Yeah, it's just Drill Boy. It's just Drill Boy, you know? It's just the Drill, la uh, drill Lad, Drill Guy. Just a drill, just a drill guy in a drill world, you know? Attack directly. 
I'm drawing breaker next turn, so I'm going to pitch duplication. Why? Why am I pitching duplication? I should pitch chaos sorcerer. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. I'll pass. Yeah, no, it's better to pitch chaos sorcerer. Because we can always add it back. Like, let's say he goes sack for Caius, whatever, attack me, I drop track. Okay, whatever. You know what I mean? And then I can add back chaos sorcerer, steal his Caius uh, or whatever. What do you discard, Dandy? What could he make here? Red Dragon would be good. Okay, attack. Okay. So there's there's no reason for me to drop Trag here, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna let this happen. He can make Stardust. Yeah, I don't really care about this though. Searches Mizuki. He has to have another back row for me to really care about this. I don't think I have Red Dragon. I should have Red Dragon. Okay, there's the other back row. That is annoying. That's got to be another Phoenix Wing, because that's what he wouldn't have set. I think... Hmm. This is a tough one. I think we had back Sangin. No, actually, hmm. So if I go Breaker Pop, he goes Negate with Stardust. I go attack directly for 12. I don't love this situation. Big think. Okay, uh, it's probably dandy then. Kind of has to be, doesn't it? I just want to kill his Stardust. So I'm going to add back Dandy. And what I'm going to do to kill his Stardust is trade my Stardust for his Stardust. So I'm going to go Effect to Banish. Okay, so that happens. We get two tokens. Now we go Debris Bring Back Dandelion. Target handy. I'm just gonna make a Stardust. This will be hard for him to get through. I don't have fucking Red Dragon, which is unfortunate. But I do have Stardust. So, there's this. I'm gonna go Battle Phase, and I'm gonna attack his Stardust. I just want to get rid of his monster. Mirror Force. Okay. That's fine. That's totally chill. If we negate, he negates with his, so there's no reason to negate. We just pass. I have tokens. I have drill. Drill can add back whatever I need from this point. It could be debris dragon. I could just make ancient fairy wall up and then just kill him with drill over time. Mirror force is gone. That's one of the few outs that he has probably to drill warrior besides maybe burial. I'm not sure what else he has that like really breaks through here from this few cards stardust is really annoying here though it's just like super annoying quick draw is good because it will allow me to do thing i think i'll get back sangin and i'm gonna pitch breaker most likely. It's either that or I get back Sorcerer, but then I don't have a normal. I think it'll be Debris. Wait, if I go Debris, bring back... I'm, I lock my own board. I can't do that. I have to add back Sangin now. Okay. Um, I should normal Sangin. Right? Yeah, I should normal Sangin. Uh, effect to have I'm gonna get greedy here he could have deep prison he could have another wind blast but mirror force is gone so let's just attack these attack directly 
Main phase two, activate drill. Yeah, chain phoenix wing. So he drew the second phoenix wing. I have to decide what I'm discarding here. I think, I think it's gonna be breaker. He attacks over Sang and we take 500, we grab Cyber Valley. Then we have Cyber Valley dupe and then we could also summon Trag if we want to. I don't think we want to though. I think we just pass. I could have ended this in a much better position with a card in hand. That Stardust, I knew that Stardust was going to be a problem because the back row he has to defend himself with are really fucking annoying. Worst case scenario, we can at least survive this turn. Oh. Oh, yeah. My bad. Yeah, this should be in the extra deck. Um. Um. I was thinking deep prison. That was dirty. All right, so we're going to take 1,500 here. I don't think we... Um... I think we just grab Cyber Valley. We could have grabbed Tuning Ware too, but we don't have space for it. So I'm just gonna grab Cyber Valley. We still have the tokens to synchro with our quick draw. I don't think there's a reason to summon the Trag. Yeah, there's no reason. So let's do this this way. Normal Cyber Valley, question mark, duplicate. Get our other two Cyber Valleys. This is going to draw me so many fucking cards. So, activate. Remove this, draw two. Krevins and Caius, both great. Both great. I'll activate another one. Remove this one and this one. Draw another two. Foolish and Allure, also amazing here. We can Foolish another Dandelion. Get some more tokens. Draw two more cards. I think that that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna Foolish Dandelion, then Allure first. So I'm gonna Foolish, send Dandy. Get two tokens. Um, yeah, then Allure first in case I find Brain Control. Draw two, or Mind Control. There we go. All right. So the banish here is going to be Caius or Krebens. Probably Krebens. Caius is better. I'll go ahead and mind control the Stardust. Activate Valley. Banish. Banish. Draw two cards. There we go, there's a tuning wear. Um, it's gonna one for one into one, pitch special to quick draw. I think it's pretty safe to just pitch special to quick draw. Yeah, is that what we wanna do? So if we pitch special quick draw, we make drill, drill pitch one for one. Yeah, let's do that. Pitch special quick draw. We could also just make Nitro and then clock him. That might be better than making Drill. But Drill can add back so many good things right now. And it leaves us with a token for extra defense. I'm down to go for the safe Drill. And Battle Phase. Bottomless, okay. Whatever. We're up five cards, six cards to three, so. He does have <coughs> Mizuki Grave Resource. But we're at 52, we have a token and a trag, and it's like, like what can you do, right? So this didn't even ask for priority. <laughs> I know, right? We drew another Cyber Dragon, so literally never punished. Um, we can go Side Rek Caius, banishes Sangin. He's still got that Mizuki, though. That card is annoying. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. It could be Side Rek Grand Mole. And then we save the Caius. It saves our highest number of cards in hand too. 3,400 here versus... Uh, 
It could just be Cyber Dragon Attack. What the fuck is in his hand? Does he have Plague in hand? Is there something in hand that I don't know? No, he searched... He searched Mizuki, so I don't know his hand. Could have Gorge. Let's just go Sidra Mole. I think it's a little bit better use of our resources. Attack, hand. Attack directly for 21. Pass turn. I like saving the Caius. Because I think we might need the generic kill, even though like his game plan is probably like... I just think getting the tempo on him is pretty good. Although if he just goes like bring back Goblin's Lobby and Defense, set Sangin, that's really fucking annoying. This is fine. I don't think this gets a tuner. This might get Mark, but we have Trigodia. So. Yeah, Sangin in hand, two unknown. Titanial. Titanial runs us over, we get Trag. Uh, actually, it's less than that. Um, cool. Do you have back row? What's his plan here? Mizuki now. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Because that's like defensive Mizuki. I think I'm going to go... Mole his goblin zombie run over his titanium. That's a game plan. I should upstart first. Should I upstart first? Actually, maybe not. Maybe I should hold upstart till after I one for one. Yeah, let's go summon mole. Battle phase. Mole attack Grim, uh, the guy to hand and then run over the titanium for 200. Um, Zand is goblin, Sangin, Mizuki resource is gone. He could have fucking... Do I have Gores still? I do have Gores. I should upstart here. Because I can lose to Mark of the Rose. Yeah, I should upstart here. Hmm. Should have done it first. It's okay. That's okay. I could lose to Mark of the Rose here. That could definitely happen. That is not a card that I am equipped to defeat currently. Pot of Avarice, that's not Mark of the Rose. And that puts back all of the plants, so that's fine. I said scared of Mark. Comes a lure. That will at least filter out one of his normals. He has a really big hand now. Somehow I wasn't able to convert everything as I would have liked. I don't know why. That big turn with the cyber valleys should have got me much further than it did. And I'm still not certain why it didn't. I think I played poorly into the bottom list maybe. I was just playing recklessly with my with my resources, with the quick draw resources. Foolish dandy. Yeah, Mark of the Rose here is super fucking bad. Um, for me. Oh, Debris? Okay, this can make Red Dragon or just Black Rose Nuke. That's an okay trade because it's a two for two, two for one. Upstart. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, let's just play it. I know I have Tuning Wars left in the deck, but might as well. Okay. Um, I have Plague left. <clears throat> I have one Quick Draw left. So it kind of pays to wait on these. I think I may just go Grand Mole attack the token and not bounce. 
I'll just pass. Caius here is annoying. I can always one for one into Caius or brain into Caius myself, but it, it does feel bad. So he does have it. Okay. Fucking miserable matchup. Okay, so we're going to take 800 here. He's not going to attack. He's scared of cores. He's going to dust shoot me. That's very unfortunate for him. Because my whole hand is good. I think his last back row is bottomless. He should take the quick draw. Yeah. Given that his last back row is bottomless, that is the correct decision here. So our game plan is brain control, attack, sack for Caius, target his back row. So we're gonna do that. Attack first. Then phase two. I'll just banish my Caius. Yep. Um, and now we wait. Sangin' pokes. Did I lose this game? I shouldn't have lost this game. I think I messed this game up somehow. What happened to his goblin zombie? Did he alert away? He must have alerted away. Well, do we duplication? He still has torrential. He still has solemn. I'm going to pass. I'm, I'm just going to pass. If we draw a quick draw, it might have been better if we had done everything this turn, but it's okay. There's gores. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um... Yeah, we'll pass. If he has any monster, we die to that, pretty much. Okay, we at least get to summon gores now. Can we win next turn? Probably not, right? Oh, that is such a bad draw. I think we just wait. Yeah, I think we should wait. Hmm. How many darks do I have? One too many for dark arms. It's awkward. He's still in the deck, isn't he? We still have one Caius, I believe. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a tough one. Those back are really good versus drill. I think we can beat him as long as his back row are shut off. So I think just like keeping his back row clear is the name of the game, pretty much. Yeah, I think that that's easy. That fucking Stardust was annoying too. There were a lot of really annoying cards that game. I'm trying to think of the best way to approach this. How did I side the last time? It was like Marionette Might, Nobleman's Battlefader. <clears throat> says, do you think Cutie with Mark is better than Hamster? I think his list is better than the Hamster list, but I don't know if he plays Cutie. Um, I think Hamster is just like a going first card. How do I, how was I citing? It was like upstarts out, plague foolish out. Plague foolish would have been so good that game. I had the fucking tuning wear shit, but I never had a tuner to go with it the whole game. I think I misused my resources. I think I should have tried to go for the tuning wear shit before I went for the cyber valley shit maybe or something. I don't know. I, I definitely messed that game up. 
I'm like thinking back on it, I'm like, I could have like just waited and overloaded his one back row in one turn. There was no reason for me to not just wait and like overload the back row. I was just playing like one time, one play at a time into his one back row at a time. And I just fucked it up like really badly, which is annoying and tilting, but uh, that's just the case. You know, that's just sometimes you, you fuck things up. You mess things up. I'm citing out a cyber dragon as well. I remember let's try these four for those four. And then he has that fucking wind blast. That card is such a bitch. I hate that card with a passion. He's definitely going to have Grave Hate. So I think Dark Armed is less reliable. And I think because Dark Armed is less reliable, we want... I just want more ways to kill his back row. I want a Decree in, for sure. I just do not want to face fucking Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, basically. Alright. Thank God we added that Decree beautiful beautiful hand this hand is fucking fantastic yeah this hand just does everything we want it to do t set pass we survive we synchro we thrive we do all the things set monster pass allure don't mind if i do let's run it and or gun it draw two Mind control, pog. Okay, um. He has no trap cards, and I have a fucking royal decree, of course. Let's banish Marionette, my. I'm a little bit nervous about him going Caius, so I am gonna mind control this monster, basically. If it's Dandelion, fuck me, but. Looks like it's Sangin. Okay. If I flip this, flip this, normal this, battle phase, 400, 1,000. He can search Lone Fire. So what I should do is make Thought Ruler, but I don't have that in my extra deck. <laughs> so what I should do... <laughs> his make Cataster and give him back the Sangin. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'll make Cataster. Go get Drill. Go get Quick Draw. I think no, no matter what, as long as I have Dandy Drill, I should be okay to win. So we'll go Quick Draw, Pitch Dandy, Wrong token, god damn it. Fucking wrong token, bro. Give me the right token. All right, I'll synchro into drill and then activate pitching Trigodia. Banish the drill and pass. Give him back his Sangin. We have Plague Engrave, which is a liability if he has Doom Kaiser stuff, but. Drill Dandy beats his deck. Drill Dandy beats his deck. Drill Dandy beats his deck. All I need to do is stick my Royal Decree around, and then Drill Dandy will beat his deck unless he draws specifically fucking Burial. If he draws specifically fucking Burial, then okay, I deserve to lose. I don't know what to tell you, but... Okay, we're gonna say 200, and then we're gonna lose our token. That's fine. This is fine. This is okay. Main Phase 2, he's gonna make, I don't know, Goyo Guardian or some shit. Um, yeah, draw phase, get drill. Drill will get my, uh, dandelion. Drill dandy beats his deck. Let's run over the gale. Let's run over the gale time. Give me my plus one, bro. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Get that shit out of my face! Alright, take 1100. Lose your gale for free, baby. Okay, um... Yeah, drill. Pitch dandy. Banish. Give me my tokens. Give me my motherfucking tokens. Pass the turn. He can have Caius. Okay, he can have it. But we've gotten something. Some value out of the decree. It's at least traded one for one and we killed the gale. So... It... it he could have Caius here, it'd be really bad, but um, 
At least we got some value out of something. Card Trooper. Three. Oh, he had his own dandy. That's pretty good. Thunder King. Wow. Okay, he's going to clear both tokens. Maybe his do pass. Draw duplication. All right, Drill's coming back. Drill's going to give me a card. It's going to give me a nice, nice one here. Maybe Sangin. Maybe Sangin. Maybe I get Sangin. No, what does it do for me? I think I just get Dandelion. I think I just get Dandelion and I just run over. Or I go direct, I think. If I go direct and then Breaker over the Card Trooper. No, I expose myself to Mark of the Rose on Breaker and then he pops my Decree, which would be bad. I guess what I have to do is, uh, if I'm going to do that, I have to like stack for Plague and then make Goyo. And then Goyo run over Card Trooper and then uh, deal 24 plus 12, which is 36, dropping him to 19, putting him on a two-turn Drill Clock. Could be kind of sick nasty. I'm not going to lie. It could be kind of sick nasty. Alternatively... Does that put me? Yeah, we could make an eight star too. We don't have to make Goyo. But I don't mind making Goyo. Right. So we'd have Goyo card trooper in play and then two tokens. It'd be pretty hard for us to lose. It making an eight star doesn't change our clock, but we could make Stardust instead. We could go like, but we could, we'd have Stardust instead of this. But I think it's better to go Goyo, actually. So I'm going to go Normal Breaker, get a token, a Plague. It doesn't really matter what I stack here, but I'll stack Duplication in case he mills me with Goblin Zombie somehow. I'd rather keep my other two cards. I'll synchro into Goyo Guardian. I'll go to now if I go fourteen hundred over Sangin, and then tw and then twenty four hundred over this, that's thirty eight hundred. It's still the same. So I don't. I never have to attack the Sangin, basically. So I'm gonna go attack directly for twelve hundred. Goyo Guardian attacks Card Trooper. You want to attack in this order to make sure he doesn't draw it. Um. He's gonna take 24, and I'm gonna mill the, I'm gonna mill the duplication because I don't really want to draw it. He does have Trag. Interesting. Okay. Well, Trag can run over Goyo, but again, I, I think we're still okay. Um, main phase two, Trooper mill three. Oh, we hit Dandy. Interesting. We also hit a light. Uh, which means next turn I add back Sorcerer, I can clear whatever. I I think we're still, like, chilling. Okay, Sorcerer, pass. Yeah, he can attack over the Goyo. He could even steal the Goyo if he wants to. These tokens are kind of, like, locking up his board from him, like, being able to beat down our board, though. And, like, cards, like, him drawing cards doesn't really matter because the only cards he can draw that impact the game are trap cards, and he needs to draw an out to the decree. So, basically, he needs to find Kaya's to banish decree plus trap cards. So, I guess it does matter to some degree. It says, send me the list that beat you in top eight. Um, oh, I got you. I'll message you after this. Okay, Plague. That is Bryonic, or Black Rose, I guess. Okay, Black Rose does clear the field. But he spent his normal on that. 
Drill adds back Chaos Sorcerer, or does it add back Quick Draw? I think it adds back Chaos Sorcerer. He has Dinah here. He's already summoned, though. Pot of Avarice, sure. Pot of Avarice seems really bad in his deck. I just wouldn't play it. In general, I've been, like, more and more unimpressed with Pot of Avarice. I think it's a trap. I think it's, like, one of those cards that, like... It'd be good in this deck in, like, that really late-game situation, but... Again, it's like, you have to get to that really late game situation. Like, he has now, but I don't know. That better be a drill out. And if it's not a drill out, then... Yeah, we just add back Sorcerer, because we've got Light and Dark. And I go Heavy Storm. I win the game. Okay, game three versus this fuck-ass deck, dude. He's going to bring back in that the stuff to clear Decree, like for sure, because he lost a Decree kind of hard that game. That being said, do we leave in Decree? No, I don't think we do. I think we just chop it entirely. I think we go, I think we go a different route. I think we go like, I don't know what, what route we go, but a different one for sure. <laughs> Jesus, that Titanial shit is annoying. I do not want to play against that. Maybe I do want the decrees just as a way to, like, exist. It's like, cut decree for, like, Cyber Dragon and then hope to, like, Cyber Kaius him out of the game. I do have five ways to clear back row. Six if you count the breaker. I could also bring in the seventh. So, I don't know. My body as a shield doesn't seem bad. Hmm. I think Cyber Dragon isn't bad. I think Gale also isn't bad. Hmm. The issue is, like, against his deck, Stardust Decree isn't good enough. Because he can go Bionic really easily, and he can go Titanial really easily. So that's why I'm, like, hesitant on, like, the Gale shit. Hmm. I think I'll just blank Heavy Storm Typhoon altogether, and we'll just run it back like this, and just pray. I think it's just going to be a run it and gun it list situation. I could have had Breaker instead of the second Cyber Dragon, but I'm kind of happy that I have the second Cyber Dragon given my hand composition. Thunder King, yeah, that's fine. Dust Shoot, that's also fine. Our hand doesn't really have like any... Crazy shenanigans going on. Like, whatever you take here, I have another thing of that thing. If that makes sense. The best take is probably Cyber Dragon. Yeah. What? He's taking Battle Fader. That's crazy. Does he have an OTK hand? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, we get it. All right, Cyber Dragon. Gonna negate. Okay. Do we go breaker attack? Oh, it's so greedy. I want to do it so bad. He took battle fader. Why the fuck would you take battle fader? You have to have like brain control, or like lone fire blossom, or just something. You have to have something here if you if you take battle fader, like. That's just a crazy, crazy thing to take. Oh, that's what it is. All right, well, he hits the plague. Watch. Damn. Well, he hit my best card, Sag. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Oh, that is so fucking cringe. Not that it really matters, but... Sure. Let's hit this guy. Hmm. Caius? 
Alright. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. We have more, but more bouncing coyotes is so bad. This one slipped away. Not gonna lie. All right, we'll pass. I need to draw duplication next turn to have a chance. Sure. If he attacks with tomato, he's insane. Yeah, he's actually insane. All right. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Chain book, sure, whatever. Um, I can duplicate first if I want to redraw the grand mole. Do I want to redraw the grand mole? Yes, I think I do want to redraw the grand mole. So let's go normal tuning wear, duplicate. Oh my god, I'm getting bailed the fuck out right now. Let's go. Hopefully no crow. Crow here would be game over, obviously. Plague. To top of deck. Special summon plague. So we could go Goyo, steal the Caius. Marginal, because Tomato just runs over the Caius. We go Stardust Dragon, get an extra draw. We could also go Colossal Fighter, get an extra draw. Boy, do I love Colossal Fighter. I'm going to go Colossal Fighter. Because each of these can be treated as level 2s. We could also go Black Rose, get 3 draws. But we're at 19, so I don't really like that. I'm going to go Colossal. Just draw 3 cards. Mind Control. Interesting. So my monster has just 2,800. Alright. Let's run over the Caius. If he has another Caius, we lose. Just the way it goes. He can't beat me with Mark. Chaos Sorcerer beats me. I can't believe I lost that first game. I think I punted the first game. Smashing ground. GG's. GG's. Didn't quite get there. Oh, that was a close one. Next card was drag. Next card was drag. Ah, I had some I had some opportunities. I had some opportunities. I could have made Stardust Dragon too, but obviously you don't make Stardust Dragon into this deck. You make Colossal. Because if he has Lone Fire, which is a two of, then um he can run over the Stardust. And if he has Gale, which he does play, he can run over the Stardust. And then if he has um literally anything else. Like, if he has, let's say, like a two-star tuner or something. I guess if he has a two-star tuner, we're dead anyway, because he can make Bryonic. But assuming Bryonic was like... Eh, it's not even worth assuming. Basically, because of Gale and because of Lone Fire, you don't make Stardust, you make Colossal. But him having Smashing Ground there was... Um, yeah, it was a good sideboard card for him. Solid stuff. GG's to my opponents. And uh, really sweet deck. I'm definitely going to be practicing with it more. I need to review this match. I, I definitely need to review this match because I, I think I messed up I think I messed up that first game for sure. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.